Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cybersecurity Innovation Workshop with uh, MIT Startup Exchange. We've run these workshops now since November, so we're still getting into the swing of things. This workshop uh, is uh, not the first in the ICT domain, so I think several of you have been here before. We ran a robotics workshop, we've run a mobile tech workshop, uh, and uh, today talk, uh, the topic is cybersecurity. My name is Tron Dundheim. I run the MIT Startup Exchange on behalf of the MIT Industrial Liaison Program. Without further ado, I'm going to just give you a very super brief overview of what it is that this program is doing. So as you may know, for 67 years, we have had an industrial liaison program here at MIT. The service that, uh, of the Startup Exchange is, very, is a very new one. We have only been in existence uh, actually for a few months, technically. Uh, we've been running in beta for the last year. What we are trying to do is something quite unique. Because you might think, you know, at Kendall Square or around MIT campus, everybody knows everyone. This is an innovation system. It's world renowned. Uh, things are, you know, uh, smooth and sailing. But it turns out things can always improve. We can always make sure that people are better connected, and especially a very targeted group that we are working with. So as you see on, on the screen now, we, have, we are aiming to bring together uh, the membership uh, or the parts of our corporate membership that are extremely interested in startups. We have 220 of the largest companies in the world, many of them. We have worked with over 10% of them so far in the program, and they are increasingly interested in startups. There's also a, a good percentage of MIT faculty that are serial entrepreneurs. In fact, our number right now is 172, but it fluctuates. That is an incredibly high number. That means a lot of the professors walking around campus are not only publishing hundreds of articles, they're also, uh, they also have dozens of patents. They have MIT licensed technologies. They have uh, co-founded companies that have been venture funded. And uh, these are amazing resources that this ecosystem can tap into. And those are the people that we want to bring into these conversations. We have also now uh, amassed a, a list of about 1,000 MIT connected startups that we work with. Some of them are in cybersecurity, and some of them are in this room. And then, of course, we work and partner with all the other innovation actors on campus. I'm not going to go into detail about what it is that we do. Our workshop, our open workshop, is, is one. Um, but here are some of the clusters that these startups fall into. Seven different clusters so far. One ICT cluster is very big. Uh, they don't all deal with cybersecurity, but I think being so important, it is very likely that many of them will get into this field. Some of these other fields uh, and clusters are, are smaller, but I think no less important. So um, these clusters and looking into these startups are accessible if you are a startup that, you know, that can fit into this program, uh, or if you are a member company. Industry can engage with us uh, through membership of, of our program and can then browse the database, can engage here, can be a speaker, and can also be custom uh, invited to, to meet with, with startups and, and vice versa and can launch what we call opportunities. So here's an opportunity. A multinational seeks an, uh, uh, a startup. Then you describe in detail what it is that you're looking for, and startups apply to that. So that's the, the basic. Uh, matchmaking feature that we have. We have many, many interesting startups. I'm not going to spend time on the, those today, but uh, suffice to say that they span the gamut from transforming healthcare to transforming materials, um, turning, uh, creating organisms, in this case for Jinko Bioworks, uh, to robotics and even bracelets that can change your sensibility of feeling hot and cold. So this is, uh, and, and 3D printing that can literally print everything uh, from advanced technology to the most you know, mundane plastics. And, and of course, in big data, we have Luminosa and many, many others. We run these monthly events. The next one is automation and the internet of things. So it, we're tackling the digitization of the factory floor in June. Uh, we have a digital healthcare innovation event coming up in the fall. Um, and we have many, many more events coming. Today on stage, we, you will see Abin, Gigavation, and Trust Layers. That's representatives, but there's many, many, many more. 
cyber security relevant, relevant startups in our, uh, in our database and in our contact system. Cybersecurity innovation, why is that an interesting topic? Well, I think it goes without saying that it's becoming more and more important. But it was also pretty apparent to us that some of the challenges in this field include you know, access to test beds and access to these real complex systems. Because who wants to share that without some level of trust? And I think that's where, that's where we come in, uh, to at least provide a gateway to some, some early access to both large companies, small companies working in the same area. And of course, MIT, and you'll hear more about this, have launched three different large uh, programs in cybersecurity. And, and one of which is, is about test beds and indeed making those available to researchers and, and to, uh, to innovators. So today we aim to cover, cover some of these innovation models, technologies, collaborations that are happening in the field. Um, welcome. We consider all of you participants. We haven't put all of you on stage, although I've made a good effort to put lightning talks, make them available to many of you. Uh, but feel free to, to jump in at any point. We want this to be an interactive debate. So now I'd like to introduce uh, Carl Koster, director of the MIT Industrial Liaison Program, for a quick intro.